Today, let's look at an interesting chess position. It is white to move, and according to chess engines, black is absolutely winning the game. But, believe it or not, Stockfish has completely missed a winning line for white. The white pawns are moving this way, and black is moving this way. As you can see, this pawn can be promoted to a queen, but after knight f7 check, the queen is gone. Therefore, promoting straight away, is not an option. So, white starts with a check. If the king goes here, then bishop h5 check, after king takes the knight, now this pawn can promote, because the bishop is guarding this square. So, in this position, king g6 doesn't work for black. Also, he can't go here, because, then white can simply promote with a check. Therefore, black is forced to move to g7. Now, knight h5 check. He again can't go up, because of the queen check. And if he goes to h7, then bishop check, and again he's forced to go up, which is game over for black. And obviously, he can't go to f7, because that takes away this important square from the knight. Therefore, he's left with only one square, and that is g6. Now, up until here, the chess engine is giving a massive advantage to black, and that's because, it has not been able to figure out the best move for white in this position. But what do you think? What should white play here? Well, the best move for white is, bishop c2 check. On first sight, this looks like a big blunder, as black can easily capture the knight. But, that's exactly what white wants. Now he promotes to a queen, but only to sacrifice it, to get his king into action. And, as you can see, this black king is completely trapped. So, white plans to nail him down, with this bishop d1 checkmate. Black goes for e2, and now this d1 mate won't work. So, white goes up, planning to checkmate him from here. Black has no option but to promote to a knight. White has to find another way, and he decides to reroute his bishop, to target the black king via e2. Black pushes this pawn forward, and promotes to a knight, just in time to cover this e2 square. Again, white has to find another way, and this time, he goes to b5, aiming to attack from the top. Black defends this square as well. White says, no problem, and steps back to a4, planning to checkmate via d1. Unfortunately, this time black runs out of options, and has no more defenses left. He blocks twice, but ultimately, he has to surrender to this unstoppable bishop, and that's a beautiful checkmate. Wasn't this an amazing chess puzzle? Well, here's another puzzle for you to solve. In this position, it is black's turn, and you need to find the best move for black. Leave your answers in the comments section below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and clicking the bell icon for regular chess videos. See you all in the next video.